Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today in this small DBT video, we will learn about a solution of a very frequently asked question to me. Lots of data engineers reach out to me and ask that DBT allows us to operate on a single table in its model SQL query, but how to solve a situation where we cannot accommodate the business logic into a single SQL query for the reason like the business logic is too complex to be accommodated or we need to operate on multiple tables so today we will look a solution to that problem now to understand how to resolve situations like this we first need to understand what are all different steps which are kicked in whenever we execute a dbt run so here this is a simple execution flow diagram for dbt whenever we kick in a dbt run statement so whenever we trigger a dbt run statement first of all it triggers in on run start step now if we have defined the on run start in our dbt project yaml then it will perform that step it can include a sql statement or a macro uh, which can perform multiple tasks uh, in a single run now most important thing to remember about on run start is that this is executed only once per execution and in the similar fashion on run end step is there which is also executed once per execution and this is executed when all the models have completed their execution of the query now after on run start our models which are involved in the dbt run command either via select or all the models basically gets triggered in and they can execute either in sequence or in parallel depending on what kind of dependency they have but every model execution we can further break it down into three steps first of all for every model a prehook is executed we can define a prehook for all the models globally either in the dbt project or we can define it in the model sql file itself we will see the example of this in a bit and then after this prehook which can either execute an sql statement or further can call a macro which can again execute multiple steps after that our model query is executed which is the body of the of the model file and once that is completed then our post hook is executed now post hook is again in the same fashion as pre hook can either execute a single sql statement or can call a macro which can execute multiple statements so one of the example which we are going to see today is a very simple use case let's say my business says that we need to log the execution duration for each of every model which is being executed by dbt into our snowflake so that we can build a report on top of that and find out which models are taking the maximum time to narrow down our performance improvement targets right so this is the exact same situation which we are going to execute today so first of all we will go to our this dbt project.yml file here if you see i can I have declared a on run start step and asked it to execute a macro. The name of the macro is to ensure a log table. Basically, what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, we are going to create a log table into our Snowflake database, and then for every model execution, we are going to log the start timestamp with the help of prehook, and we are going to log the end timestamp also with the help of post hook. Now, this on run start basically i am trying to ensure that my log table exists and is not dropped for example if i go to the definition of this macro ensure log table exists it is creating the table with this particular structure if it doesn't exist so if i if we go to our snowflake database and run a select on this table right now it doesn't exist so if my table doesn't exist simply on run start will create that table now this is a simple model i have created wherein i am simply reading data from one source and creating a target model if you see here i have explained or i have given configured prehook and post hook now prehook basically starts before my this model sql query executes and post hook is executed after the commit of my model sql query now one most important thing to note here is that if during execution my model query fails my post hook will not, uh, not get triggered so lost uh, lots of times we see such a, a situation that pre hooks are executed but post hooks are not executed so we need to remember that to post hook to get triggered in our model sql query should 
execute successfully. So if we quickly check the definition of these before be, uh, begin and after commit macros. So before begin is simply doing an insert into my run logs table with the model name and the timestamp as the current timestamp basically when the execution has started and then in the same fashion the after commit is again making an entry into the run logs table with the model name and then the current timestamp of the execution now if i trigger this model then first of all what it will do is it will execute the on run start like here my new project is the project name then on run start was executed successfully if i open it it will tell me that okay on run start was triggered in and then it also got successfully executed and after that my model was triggered in and then it also got successfully completed if i go to the detail it will show me the different statements which were executed for example this is the statement which was executed from my pre hook and then the model query was executed and after that my post hook query was executed now if we go to the table and run a select on this earlier this table didn't exist but now not only this table exists but the start timestamp for my model model with hook was logged in and also the end timestamp for my model is also logged in now what i can do is i can on daily basis keep recording these statistics and then i can build a report on top of it to just find out which are the models which are taking the maximum time and then i can narrow down my performance improvement efforts just to improve the performance of those particular models so that's how we can operate not only operate multiple tables uh, by using the steps like pre hook and post hook but we can distribute our complex business logic into multiple steps as well so that's how dbt solves such a situations so i hope this video helps you if you have any questions you can put in the comments and i will try to answer them thank you